We are Spirit Temple Bible Church, located right here in Lehigh Valley, the beautiful city of Allentown. We are a Bible-believing church, a Spirit-filled church, and a church that believes in the Word of God, proclaiming the Word of God to all generations. God has been so awesome. He has been so faithful. He's so amazing that he brought us to this place just to, to declare of his goodness, of his love, and of his mercy, and of his healing power. Come join us this Sunday, and we know that your life will never be the same again. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 But I didn't let that deter me. I didn't, I just continued to praise God. And all that he has done for me, I continue to praise him because I know whatever he's done in my life is only for his good. Amen. So whatever, I'm going through, whatever I'm going through, I continue to praise him. So I want to say that even though it may seem like an affliction, it's to the God's glory. Amen. It's to God's glory. And that's basically um, that's basically it. Amen. And I continue, yes. I came here today for my healing so I can see one. Amen. 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 And before you leave here, you will see. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let's give a clap to Jesus. Hallelujah. Brother Joshua. What has the Lord done for you? I know there are probably a lot of them. Uh, good morning, church. Good morning. Uh, I, I just have to share this uh, with the church. Amen. Um, as you all know, I work for myself. And uh, there is a line of business that I, I plan to exit. That I'm, not, I'm done with this line of business and I want to do it no more. Amen. And um, in January, and I was putting plans together to exit this business completely. And um, from nowhere, I received a letter from one of the partners that I work with in this industry telling me that, you know what, we have reactivated you. I have been de deactivated before. They said, we have reactivated you. We want you to continue. And I say, you know, how can you reactivate me because I have not supplied all the necessary documentation? <laughs> so after that, I said, and I told my wife, I said, you know what? Maybe God is using this thing to tell me something. So, before I knew it, a very good friend of mine in Dallas sent me something on the same line of business. And what he sent me just solved all the problem I had in that business. Wow. Wow. I, I got to share this with you. That's why I put it. Thank share you. more, share about what God did to you as far as your health is concerned. You shared it before you can share it again. Amen. My health. Your health, what the Lord did to your heart. Uh, yes. Cholesterol, what is my health? Don't share it. Yeah, last year, last year, September, I had a mild heart attack. And uh, I was in the hospital. And um, the pastor came to the hospital to see me. And during that prayer, prior to that time, I couldn't sleep. The, doc, the nurses, they were all over me throughout that night. It was very tough. So it was the next day that you came. And you came very late that night. And he touched me, and uh, he, 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 he discussed the word of, word of God with me first. And when he was about to leave, he said, let's pray. And he touched me. And while he was going that through with me, I. I felt something strange in my body. That was the first night I was able to sleep. Jesus Christ. So, and a week later, I was supposed to go for a follow-up with my cardiologist. And uh, when I got there, the cardiologist said, you're yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so God, God has really touched me. Amen. And then what happened with your physical? That's the interesting part. <laughs> uh, in February, in January, uh, I think it was February. February. 
end of February, I went for my physical this year. And uh, when, you know, my, my physical number it takes almost half a day. You take all these things. And um, he just called me. He said, you know what? Brother Sumo, whatever you are doing, continue to do it. But because he said your A1C is normal for the first time. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but just to thank God. Amen. Let me talk to Jesus. Our God is good. This is my God. My goodness. Please tell us your name. What has God done for you? Uh, tell us your name. Freeman. Put the mic to your ear. Yeah. Freeman. What has God done for you? What do you want to say? Uh, I want to thank God for letting me go to this church. Amen. 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 And he helped me a lot through my life. Wow. Yeah. That's great. That's great. That's great. That's great. Thank you so much, man. God bless you. All right, Sister um, Fine. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I just want to give glory to God. I yes, thank yes. God so much. But God, is good. God has been really good in my life. You know, um, I, I had come up here a few weeks ago for prayer as far as uh, seeking uh, another job, you know. But uh, we already, we have a business at home. And uh, I was considering going to find another job. But God has been good. He's blessed and he's brought more people in to the business and business is growing and yeah, I don't right. have to seek another job. Yeah. Thank you guys for that. I praise you so much for that. And also, um, he's bringing our family closer together and bringing people back to the Lord that have fallen away and I just give yes. glory to God for that. I thank you so much, Lord. Amen. Amen. That is growth in business and family restoration. Amen. 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 My young lady, tell us what the Lord has done for you. What's your name? Jessica, what has the Lord done for you, Jessica, since you've been coming? All right, um, the first time I came was for the Christmas service. Right before the Christmas service, um, last year, I had a bunch of operations. I almost died. And um, coming to the church, you know, going, coming for Christmas, there was a couple times, a couple weeks, where I couldn't really get out of bed, you know, still feeling the pain and everything. Well, I just went and got tested again to check my bladder and stuff to see how good I am. And the pains that I'm feeling is just the pains from so many years of going through all this pain. My body's just used to being in pain. So it feels the pain, but my bladder and everything is clear. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God is good. God is good. God is good. Sister Telisha, I know you have a lot to share. <laughs> Hello, um, my name is Talisha. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, okay, where do I start? I'm just gonna do the quick summary because I could be here all day. Um, for starters, there's a lot of you people here who know me from the summer, which the summer Talisha is different than the today Talisha. So, so the summer and even just years before, I was just involved in selling drugs, involved in using drugs really bad. I mean, there was never a time you would see me without a blunt in my hand. And um, just into so much stuff, clubbing, just the whole lifestyle, being out in the streets, really neglecting my children, neglecting my family, not even mentally, when you're living in that life, you don't even see it like that. Now I look at things way different. Um, I had a business, it wasn't even able to be open because I was just, you know, just disrespecting it, all the stuff that my parents put into it. I'm in there smoking and just having parties and stuff, and this is supposed to be a place of business. Um, in about September or early, I believe it was September, me and my friend Saray decided one day we were coming to church together and we made it a, a effort to do it together because we were both running the streets doing the same stuff together so we're like well we're going to go to church together it was actually god put it on both of our hearts that we need to go to church and when i'm ready to go to church i just follow my parents wherever church they go to i'm going so they said you know we're going to this church so we came and the first day i i, I knew i felt different 
But, you know, once you go to church and then you go back into the same stuff, it's a little different. You, it starts putting a, a red light. You start seeing things differently, but not quite ready to pull yourself out yet. And so then I kept coming. I said, well, if I don't do anything else, I'm coming every Sunday. And no matter what, and let me tell you, you know that's hard because the biggest party now is Saturday night. So I was coming in here, <laughs> half sleep, still with the same outfit on from Saturday, but I was like, I don't care. As long as I'm here, I know I'm going to be blessed. I'm just going to come. And then Saturday, and then, so then Sundays turned into Wednesday, which in case you don't know either, Tuesday is the biggest party night during the week. So I'm pulling myself in. I'm like, I don't care if I'm going to the club, I'm making it to church. And I always, you know, just get on myself. And so what ended up happening is um, I'm just coming and, my life had just been blessed in so many ways. God just opens your eyes because a lot of times when you're living in that life, you don't realize things. You don't realize the demonic holds that are because you're around everybody that does it. So none of my friends are with their kids. That's normal. You know what I mean? We're making excuses for each other. Oh, that's all right. They'll be fine. You know? And so um, now the person, I don't smoke at all anymore. Amen. Glory to God for that. I never saw that leave in my life. Um, I don't, I totally changed my life around. I go back and I get my friends because I know how different my life is. Like I actually love myself. I didn't love myself before. And I, I never felt like I could live like without a boyfriend or whatever. And like the love from God is like filling, you know. Um, also, when it comes to my children, I go to work. I'm with my kids. Like my whole day revolves around, okay, I need to go home and see my kids. If I'm away from my kids for a couple, for a little while, I start getting nervous and uncomfortable. Like I love my kids. And the second thing is about my business and even my relationship with God. Now I've been a Christian my whole life, but this different, like we always say, there's levels to the Christianity. So you have, you have the Christianity, but it's when you're, really attached to the Holy Spirit. When you actually can feel the Spirit moving your life, He'll show you things. He'll show you how to act. He'll show you how, because then I was like bum rushing all my friends. Y'all like, need to come to church. You're living wrong. You're living wrong. And actually my friend Saray again brought it to my attention. Like, you're not coming to people in love. You're just pulling them. Because I'm like, well, don't go. Well, you're going to be in hell and that's it. And that's how I was talking to people. Then I'm wondering why they don't want to come. They're like, you're threatening them with hell, Talisha. Like, so now she's like, you have to talk to people in love. And I'm like, oh, okay. So, yes, she was calling me a Jehovah's Witness banging on people's doors in the morning. But I just want to say glory to God. My business is booming now. My family life is booming. Like Everything is just, and I'm so, my spiritual life is booming. I pray and speak with God. I'm with God all day long and like nothing. When I tell you, and that doesn't mean that I'm not tempted. Trust me. That doesn't mean that like, you know, everything, everything is good because I don't have to deal with it. All this stress that I felt like I had on me, I don't stress, I'm giving it to God. Yeah. Whatever he has to do, he does it. That's none of my business. But that's, my business is great. And I mean, everything is just awesome. My children, everything. Okay. <laughs> God is good. Wow, that machine is a real testimony and a big difference, but let me not, let me not emphasize on that. You come and share. You. <laughs> God bless you, sister. Good Brittany. morning. Good morning. I know y'all miss me. Turn up yes, for Jesus. Yes. <laughs> I know y'all. I missed everybody. I really have. It's been a um, a long two weeks. Um, a very blessful two weeks. Um, busy and everything that I've been blessed with. My family's been blessed with a new house that I've been praying for last year. It's been just a very and, and um, God had blessed me. Okay, God had blessed me with a job, even though that wasn't the right one for me. And I know He got my right one coming to me, and I was still blessed. I, I, well, I was blessed because I still got two. God was just so blessed. Yeah. I was just so in this night. I've been such a blessing, and such my, my second, my third family, <laughs> my third family. I call um, you know the Sami's all my third family. Um, they just been such a blessing to me, and just in every aspect, you know when I'm down spiritually, you know, it's just, y'all know how refreshing you are. God, you too. You're my baby too. You're such a bold sunshine. I tell 
everybody that you're my ball of sunshine too. You should just be brightening my day and just the little oh, blessings that just being around y'all and y'all literally yeah, bless my spirit um, and just with God and just sticking by. Oh, don't look at me like that. You don't make me cry. <laughs> <laughs> But I, it, I really have been blessed, and God just really has been blessing me in every aspect of my life. And I still have some work to do. I have a lot of work to do, but I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We bless the Lord for all the blessings in her life. And